Hello there, this is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Body game is never cope. <laughs> and I gotta shout out somebody from my Patreon. He ain't asked me to do this video, but he had mentioned it in a video he shared with me on Patreon. Like, if y'all want to hit me up or anything, trust me, Patreon, Patreon. And depending on the question, if it's related to sexual dynamics, I will take requests there. I will take requests there. But uh, anyway, I got to shout him out, Brother Muhammad. I said, he had said something about, yeah, if all those people say it's only face and height, you know. Because he was showing a, a video of this uh, muscular brother about five five but he was standing in front of these two korean women they were checking him out they were going crazy over this stuff but i'm gonna tell you what it's never a cope and also also i got some video a couple videos in the description box because every now and then i get somebody they're coming on old video say you don't look like you work out you don't look like you know they see they see a car video top up they don't see like the stomach is dipping down and everything or they be making some assumptions. Here's two videos for you. Uh, here's two videos for you showing like me working out. And I'm in my 50s. I'm in my, keep in mind, I'm in my 50s. So whatever I do. In fact, when I had my stroke, even the physical therapist, they say, you know, we can tell you work out. You should be back from it quick. Back from it quick. You know? So, one of the things, though, but it's never a cope. And see, I'm going to tell you for one simple reason. It works. It works. You know, I had some guy, you always get some people, they's trying to fight it. They trying to tell you some stuff. Hey, some dude come on here, uh, comment one time, say, well, Rom, you can get into women because of your face and your height. But if a woman's sucking your dick and she says she's sucking it because she likes your body, what do you listen? I mean, <laughs> just like, come on now. When women tell you, they they messing with you because you got your body right, you got some muscles, they sucking your dick and shit, they, you fucking them. What you listen to? You listen to the women that's right there on their knees in front of you? Or you gonna listen to some dude who just don't want to face that you get your body right, you you... You take care of a lot of stuff. And then like a lot of another commentator said, what they what these dudes think? Guys just walking around with a floating head? Cause even with face and height, they still gotta look at the body that is on. Even these guys talk about some Chad or something. I don't know why they don't be seeing that Chad or some of these models they be using be hitting the gym. When women look at a man, they look at the whole picture. You know, on my uh, sit down video today, I talked about a man's style, that's his power. He got to wear his style, but that's the way, that's how he wears his clothes. If you get two different men who wearing an Armani suit, one's in, you know, he's fit. The other one's a big dude all sloppy and shit. Who that Armani suit going to look good on? Even, even, even in situations where it's tailored, especially if it's tailored. You know, you got to have that right suit and stuff. Who's going to fit better on? I mean, shit, it's just common sense. But you get some guys don't want to face it and stuff. And then even in the comments, what if I do? Uh, well, first of all, I lost count of how many dudes are doing body game videos of their own. And all of them hadn't heard of me. But what they don't, boom. In the gym and shoot. These are younger guys, too. Younger guys at that. You know, because I'm 59. So whatever they put now. Shoot, I'm just doing good. I'm 59 coming off a stroke, so I'm just doing good just to do whatever I do. And I can still hit some. Shoot. I can still what? I'm, I can like, because I ain't going as hard as I used to. Still about 20 pounds less, 20 pounds less than what somebody who, have, you know, pre strokers could throw up 300 if I had to. Shit, whatever I had to. Maybe one time, but shit, <laughs> it's more than, what, 99% of the population. <laughs> but, you know, it's not a cope. It works. 
like I was saying about uh, the people who comment, they not saying, oh, wow, let me try that. They telling their own stories. Whenever I guarantee, even in this video, whenever I do a body game video, most of the guys who comment, they talking about their own experiences. They ain't saying, hey, well, this work, this work, this work. The overwhelming majority is saying they own, they co-signing. They ain't saying, oh, that's something. They co-signing. That's why I said uh, anybody, anybody who got a problem with body game, instead of like trying to talk all this shit, go out and actually do the damn thing. Just do it. Just do it and see what happens. You know? Because I've yet to have some, I've yet to have it in promoting it and really promote it in my book, Nice Guys and Players, even though I don't use that term. I was like, well, shit, tell me. I've yet to have somebody come back and say it didn't work for them. I've yet to have somebody come back and say it didn't work for them. Because women, yeah, they looking at your face and height. But I know some there's some handsome motherfuckers out there they ain't hit the gym. I told you, I worked with this dude who looked like Clint Eastwood with glasses. He ain't hit the gym, no. Got no, no parts of the pussy. Or this other... Um, you know, and I've known some dudes, they were tall, but they were tall and lanky and stuff. When they weren't giving them no pussy. Get your body right. Now, let me be clear. Unless they have, they get some if they have a woman having to like lanky. But every woman likes something in a man. Now, if you ain't hitting the gym and stuff, and I got one brother, uh, he keep changing his name. I'll just call him Levi's and, uh, Levi's and uh, Clark's. He said he ain't doing a single push-up, but he got charisma. But other than that, the overwhelming majority of uh, dudes who actually hit the gym, did some shit, they can see a change. They can see a change. And it just popped in my mind, even about this guy I used to see at one of the gyms I used to work out at. That dude was coming off as goofy at first. He worked out. I noticed he worked out. I say after a year, I noticed he even walked differently. How he carried himself and everything. And I've seen that a few times. I've seen that a few times. Because women checking out bodies, whatever they like. Now, here's the thing. People want to say body games are coke, right? Okay, then why? Please, ex they can never explain why a male exotic dancer is making money. Not with a logical explanation. At best, they can come up with some bullshit stuff, but they really, usually they don't answer that. How male exotic dancers, what they present? They present their, hey, if they wouldn't need to take off their clothes if they just if it was just face or even height. And hell, some of the most money-making ones ain't six feet. And shoot, I've seen some videos of uh, some of those male exotic dancers. They come out with masks on, so it's not their face either. They making their money off their body. They making their money off their body. But the main thing, the main reason, well, see, first of all, let me start with myself. Shit, I got two sons based off of that. Shit, body game. I was just in my co-parents, I was just a friend to her, because when you really see each other around, we were like more like phone friends. She saw me, I had a shirt on, showing the chest, everything, the chest of sisters and everything. Yo, two babies out of it. And she's still cool with me. She's supposed to stop by this morning. So, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing. You know? Because a lot of guys writing, they saying, hey, the women paying attention. And let me be clear. It don't mean you have to be so specific. Just your best body and see which women like it. Like, if you, let's put it like this. If you ain't getting no play now, change your body. If you ain't getting no play. You know, whatever you at, if you get in play, whether you're a big man, slim man, whatever, it working for you, stick with it. Stick with it. But I've known some dudes who are married, they say they, they, they were in a relationship with them. They were like a woman or something, and the woman would say, hey, you know, they would just hit the gym, change something, the women get excited, want to have sex more. Does anybody who say, shit, anybody who say body games are coke, First of all, they never say they're getting any play. They just arguing and shit. You know? Because a lot of dudes just don't want to do the work. They just arguing and stuff. If you ask them, 
Yeah, shit. You ever have a woman just rub all over your back? Or kiss it, lick your chest? Have a big ass, like, sexy legs wrapped around you? Shit. You can't get past that. It's not a floating head. They're going to notice it. Even if, no matter what, you, how handsome you are, no matter how tall you are, they're going to be paying attention. Because they can't help, they can't help but see it. Because first of all, your height is connected to your body anyway, so you can't say that. Your head is on top of it. They, you, you think they just going to see a handsome face and you're, like your body all like looking all scrawny and shit. You think they're going to do that? Unless they happen to like that, and a lot of women don't. A lot of women don't. And yeah, there's some women, yeah, if you one of those lucky dudes who, well, let me let me hit y'all with something with, if you're a slim dude. And thinking, well, I don't have to lift weights or something. They think you got big dick, man. Shit. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Yeah, women looking at that, too. They trust me. Trust me. They looking at everything. They looking at your whole physicality. So if you having trouble getting a woman, change your physicality. You get some. You might not get enough. You might not get a whole bunch if you just change that. But you gonna get some. You change it. So there was one guy I was familiar with. Uh, he's messed with this woman I knew. He was in the gym all the time. You could tell. You look at him and tell. He was on some nerdy shit, but he changed his body. And like I say, they don't have to be super. Some women like roughnecks. You know, they like that construction worker build or. Police officer bill. They ain't necessarily super cut, but just in a decent shape. You know? But that's the thing. Anybody you say it's cold, shit, they ain't trying. Because it's working for people. That's the bottom. See, that's the bottom line. Let's, let's fuck everything else. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom fucking line. Dudes have changed their body builds. You know, they hit the gym, lost the weight, put on weight. Or just maintain what they had and then they got it. Because if you talk to a woman who's really excited, let's put it like this. If you talk to any woman who's really excited about sex with her man, she always going to mention her body. I don't care what women say publicly, too. A lot of them, are, they won't. I'm gonna, let me hit y'all with some game. Sometimes women ain't going to talk about this shit publicly for one simple reason. They need the simps. <laughs> they need the symptoms. They can't use a man. They can't tell a man what put them in a trance or something because then that's their control. Shoot. They be using a man and stuff. Shoot. Check out, um, check out Sadia Khan. She be telling, she be giving the game right there how, like, beautiful women, they use low self esteem man to men or something. I'm going to put a link for her in the description box. She don't really need it, but. Check out, listen to some of the shit she's saying with an open mind. She telling you the game. So sometimes women, they ain't, ain't going to say publicly that's what they want in a man or what really drives them crazy because they got to use some men. Like, only, like I always say, in general, take what women say publicly with a grain of salt. Take what they say privately more serious and take what they do. Watch their actions. Watch their actions. Watch how they go crazy and everything over a man with a certain with certain body builds. Yeah. Shit. Like I said, I got two sons. They at the house now. I say, hey, y'all, daddy got to go make a video. They like, cool. We got we we'll hold it down here. I'm like, okay. Shit. Cause I know how I was getting played. That's the reason. Main reason I promote body game. I know I was getting play. Shit, we weren't talking about, I mean, they weren't calling me short or anything because I'm a little taller than average, but they weren't like saying, oh, it's your height. Or, you know, and I was, shit, I can actually count the number who said, oh, yeah, you're so handsome. I don't even know, like, uh, I'd say about 95% of women I actually had sex with in life. In life. I don't know, honestly, maybe 95% of them never commented on my facial features. So, but they commented sure as hell on my body. I know that, so, you know, it cracks me up. He had somebody trying to tell me some other shit. I didn't even feel like engaging them and stuff, because I would have said, well, how many of the women you knew dated? Because motherfuckers keep trying to see, 
I'm going to tell you what, a lot of motherfuckers just don't want to do the work. That's really all it is. All I'm saying is do a little bit of work. You're going to notice a difference. I've yet to ask somebody say, well, Rom, you know, I, I did. I worked out in the gym for six months and, you know, here's some pictures and everything. I'm not getting any women. I've yet to have that. At most, they getting some. They might not like who they at most, at most. I've had a few say they ain't like who they were getting, but they were getting some. You're going to get attention because that's a power. I was talking about in my sit-down video today, style is a power. But remember, what the thing that's the biggest power is how you're going to get a woman to lust for you. They lust over bodies. You know, they can say whatever, like the public thing they'll say is, oh, yeah, yeah, handsome, but there's a lot of handsome men out there and not getting no pooty. Hence body man, I mean, hence handsome man game. Like I said, if it was just the face, handsome men wouldn't have any complaints. They'd be getting it. And you got some tall guys. Over, I've met guys like, I'm 5'11". Like I said, 5'11 without shoes. You know, during the day, might get down to 10.5. It depends. It depends. When I go to the doctor, they 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 usually always put it up to 5.11. The doc, they put it up to 5.11 when they check checking for height. Right? Okay. So, to me, anybody taller than me is six feet. I've lost count of how many dudes I've met who are taller than me who are having trouble. So, I thought, you know, I thought, I thought it was just height. They shouldn't be having trouble, should they? But the main thing is body build. Shoot, some women even say it. They'll look at a man's body, look at his hands, feet, and all of that. Like, even if you're tall, you got to have a body on you. You can't get past it. For one, you can't get past it. Just common sense. You can't get past it. You're not a floating head and shit. And, like, any guy say that shit, they never say, well... They never talk about that. You notice they never talk about their own personal experience. Say, yeah, you know. And no, don't get in the comments line, okay? Don't even get in the comments. I'm already thinking you can, all right? If you're going to try to say, well, you know, it was just my face and my height that just got me play. Okay. Even if you slim and you say that shit, no, they like talk to the women. Did the women say they ignored your body? And like I said, publicly, they ain't gonna say they need the simps out here. They need the simps to take them to dinner and take them out and all that to use. Cause shit, I never forget when I, um, you know, working in gyms, I was seeing who was getting to play and who wasn't. Working in gyms, see, isn't that something I just threw out, it's threw out, I know from personal experience working in gyms remember from a Mr. Universe he had said oh yeah that's why those women be down at the prisons <laughs> they be there they love prison bay <laughs> prison bay be getting this shit prison bay be getting this but I heard uh, they kind of removed some weight equipment uh, from the gyms Worried about these dudes using some shit as weapons. Uh, from the jails, rather. I think I said jails instead of jails. But that's the thing, though. But it's not a cope. It's like it works. I mean, that's a, seriously, if you really want to get down to it, the shit work. I mean, shoot. That's the one that shit. That works. A lot of dudes that might be average looking, they hit the gym and women saw their body, they be like, mm, seriously. Or oh, when women going on these sex vacations, bodies. They're looking for men with certain body builds. Or like, especially, shit, men being male exotic dancers, that's like big business now. Shoot, I know some guys, shoot, they hitting some private parties and shit, making money. Body, body. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, some dudes still going to have a problem and shit. But it was like, why? Why, y'all? Y'all don't need to worry about that. Y'all got to 
I gotta go with what works. It works. Just try. Just try. Just try. Don't try to say anything. Just try, okay? That's all you have to do, alright? Like if a 59 year old man who ain't, you know, I'm built more like a rough neck. If I'm getting attention, I still get attention there. You know? So if a 59 year old man got it like that, anybody younger don't have any excuses. Alright? So anyway, I get back with y'all. I get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.